In the dim light of the hospital room, the beeping of medical equipment echoed softly. Confusion and pain clouded the patient's mind. Where is this? Hospital R. This injury? The memories were hazy, fragmented. No, can't remember. Where is she? No way could it be who are you? Why do you want to kill me? And who am I? A sudden shift in demeanor. Oops, thank you so much for taking care of that guy just now. Now. The bounty is mine alone a sinister chuckle filled the room I can't believe you would also have a day like today before you kill me. Can you tell me who am I? The figure in the shadows replied coldly. I only come to take lives and have no obligation to explain goodbye. Suddenly, the door swung open, and another figure entered, aiming a gun at the attacker. You were actually pointed at your head with a gun by this trash. Seems like your injury is very serious. The patient squinted, struggling to focus who are you? You even forgot about me? I'm your husband I have such a handsome husband. Dear, why only now did you come to save me my dear the figure laughed mockingly hey, do you actually believe what I said? Don't you even question it? Of course I believe you you're so handsome, how could you lie to me? A shadow of doubt crossed the patient's mind I do want to question it, but you have a gun in your hand. The pain flared up causing the patient to wince it hurts the fight just now has caused the wound to reopen I've reached my limit whether this husband is real or fake, I can only gamble save me I will be obedient to you. The figure smirked, a glint of danger in his eyes will you really be obedient, why should I listen to you, who do you think you are, stop blocking my way, otherwise, I can't guarantee anything will happen next the tension in the room escalated Liu An, you I said don't block my way from now on, you and I will walk each separate path, a cold finality in his voice okay, from now on, we don't owe each other anything the patient's voice trembled, you just said you'll listen to me obedient right? Yet you cause me so much trouble, however, only dead people are the most obedient. With a swift movement, the gun was raised, and a single shot echoed through the room. Silence fell, punctuated only by the steady beep of the heart monitor, now accompanying an empty room and a tragic end. Gyuk Sing Yi stood amidst the chaos, the aftermath of the battle still heavy in the air. The smoke was slowly clearing, revealing the carnage left behind. He glanced at the fallen bodies, his eyes narrowing as he spotted a figure trying to sneak away. Going to sneak attack? Who do you think I am? Gyuk Sing Yi muttered, wiping sweat from his brow. He took a deep breath, feeling the familiar surge of adrenaline, few has expected of Gyuk Sing Yi. A groan drew his attention a woman lay on the ground, clearly injured but defiant it seems that she's seriously injured, he thought, but still, you can't kill her with one shot to die under your hands, it's not a shame. As he approached, she struggled to speak, die? You cannot die before you tell me what I want to know Gyuk Singh Yi barked just then, his allies arrived, their footsteps pounding against the ground, Boss Weir, here how are you? Are you okay? What can happen to me? Gyuk Singh Yi scoffed take that killer over the to interrogate who's behind him. Okay, what about this one? One of them asked, pointing to the injured woman. This evil woman is still breathing. It's okay, another replied he can strangle her with just one hand. Wait Gyuk Singh Yi commanded she's still useful. But this vicious woman hurt our branches brothers last night one of them protested Thomas Zil was killed by her, big brother. I told you, she is still useful Lil Zil go outside I will talk to the boss for a bit. As Lil Zil left, Gyuk Singh Yi's mind began to drift my mind seems to have sunk to the bottom of the sea, he mused, and I don't know where the whispers in my ears come from looks like I'm sinking, slowly sliding into the abyss. Before he could fall into the endless void, a warm breath surrounded him following the reassuring warmth, he finally fell asleep I'm still alive, he thought, relief washing over him it seems that I was right to bet on that man to save me. The next morning, he woke to a familiar voice you woke, good morning, dear he blinked, recognizing the man from the previous night, ah, it is my husband good morning. Right this is the man from last night who suddenly appeared with a gun and said he was my husband, such a handsome person like this really is my husband. Dear, 
Have you remembered anything? Not yet I still haven't recalled anything at all not only you, I cannot even remember my own name I'm sorry Li Yi and you are Li Yuan my wife and I, Gyuk Sing Yi, is your husband even when you were seriously injured, you still could fight against the killer such a powerful woman wouldn't dislike a mediocre husband like myself. Would you? I don't dislike you she exclaimed get up and eat something I'll ask the doctor to come and check on your amnesia later what's wrong? He asked, noticing her whence the fight last night seemed to have affected my wound it hurts a lot let me see, he said, examining her injury. Huh? Without a doctor? I can handle this kind of injury. The doctor is late don't be nervous, we are husband and wife the tattoo on your back was done by myself I know every part of your body well, even your most secret place. This is not our first time, he reminded her, his voice gentle but firm relax. Give yourself to me I can't guarantee to be gentle, but it shouldn't hurt you. With those words, Li Yuan found herself enveloped in a mix of pain and warmth, trusting in the man she couldn't remember but instinctively knew was her protector. The room was filled with tension, as she lay on the bed, wincing in pain it hurts you liar, she muttered, her voice trembling you clearly said it doesn't hurt you even said this isn't the first time. The man before her with his eight pack abs glistening under the room's dim light, continued to apply medicine to her wounds. Of course, it isn't the first time could it be that you remember something? He asked, his tone probing. I don't remember anything, she responded, gritting her teeth but it doesn't change the fact that a man with eight pack abs is applying medicine to me. He worked meticulously, disinfecting the wound, but she grew impatient to you done? You said you only disinfected the wound, how long are you gonna do that? Men can't be any quicker he replied with a hint of amusement. Fine, I want to get dressed, she demanded, her cheeks flushing having him look at my body like this, I feel like my whole body is heating up. Just now, she thought, was he testing my reaction? Is the medicine application fake? While testing me is the true purpose, I see I'm bandaging you up. I'll take a look at the wound on your head in a moment, he said, his voice steady. She decided to play along then I'll cooperate with him and act this play well. He gently examined her head. The wound on your head has scabbed over, it should recover faster if the bandage is removed. Don't worry, have breakfast first, and I'll have the doctor check on you later. Although she didn't remember anything. She felt that Yuk Sing Yi had no ill intentions towards her however, she couldn't let her guard down eat some more, getting good nutrition so that you can recover as soon as possible, he urged. The feeding was natural and his movements gentle, he might really be my husband, right? She wondered but then she noticed something, is my cutlery plastic? It seems that Yuk Sing Yi isn't the only one who is cautious of me his subordinates also have some opinions on me determined to test him, she tried to cut the bacon I I just want to cut the bacon plastic knives and forks can't cut meat is that not okay? It's okay I was careless, I should have cut it for you in advance, he apologized, his eyes softening. This man and his men are so guarded against me that it's almost certain that he isn't my husband worst case scenario, I'm afraid it's highly likely that he's an enemy but if it's just pure hostility, I won't be able to live so, the urgent thing is I have to figure out what he wants from me. Suddenly, there was a commotion outside June's call everyone outside to help protect the boss. Yuk Sing Yi stood protectively before her don't be afraid, as long as I'm here, no one can hurt you his men were already engaged in a fierce battle with the intruders. I just have to stab him with the knife in my hand, she thought, her heart pounding then I can take advantage of the chaos to escape from here however. Yuk Sing Yi you're bleeding she cried out, noticing the red staining his clothes. Just a minor injury, it's okay, he reassured her his voice strained but calm. Why is he risking his own life to protect me? Could it be he really is my husband? Attack a voice shouted from outside Li Lan, I know you're inside you come out here the enemy's voice was filled with rage, echoing through the chaos, Li Yuan stood tense in the alley the staccato of gunfire, 
reverberating off the walls yet something was off the sound of bullets, it wasn't the same rubber bullets. What's going on she murmured heart pounding, is this another test by Gyuk Seng Yi she began to doubt the authenticity of her protection is he just pretending to protect me, she thought relief washed over her as she realized her, caution her kept her from falling into a potential trap. Second boss it's time we have to leave a subordinate shouted rushing towards her Gyuk Seng Yi's, men are here they have real guns we can't beat them. Li Yuan frowned her mind racing, second boss why did we take such a risk and do something illegal, another subordinate asked his voice trembling with fear. Waste of words of course it's for the boss the boss is inside Gyuk Seng Yi's house, Li Yuan snapped her voice steady despite the chaos I created a little commotion and with her ability she should be able to escape. But second boss your art skills are as bad as ever, the subordinate muttered. Stop talking nonsense, this is the first step of my great plan Li Yuan retorted sharply you are doing so terribly bad there otherwise, the boss would have escaped long ago. That we had such a big fight yet the boss didn't come out could it be? that she already died inside Gyuk Seng Yi's house. The thought seemed to strike fear into the subordinate's heart. Watch your mouth Li Yuan barked, with her skills those people can't hurt her, that woman she can't possibly die like that. Sister Yuan a voice called out from behind desperate and pleading it was Song Yu Oh, my godfather is the president of the city trade association spare me and, when we cooperate in the future your benefits will be indispensable. Only him her father owed me money so he gave her to me as payment. Another man brother case sneered my brothers and I just had a taste of a woman sister. Yuan should our harmony be disrupted because of her. Brother K have you forgotten the person who is stepping on you now is also a woman Li Yuan's voice was icy cold. Bullying a weak woman but kneeling before a strong one you are just a loser who bullies the weak and is afraid of the strong. Sister Yuan that's not what I meant how can a woman like Song Luo be, compared to you please forgive me I will do anything you ask of me. Li Yuan turned to Song Luo her expression softening, Song Luo you see this is your nightmare look at him begging for mercy like a dog is he really that scary it's up to you to end your nightmare. Tears welled up in Song Luo's eyes as she nodded determination. Replacing fear become stronger for me Li Yuan urged to trample under your feet all the men, who look down on you and assault you. Meanwhile inside Gyuk Sing Yi's house the situation was equally tense, the glass shards had been removed from her wound and Li Yuan's gaze fixed, on Gyuk Sing Yi's tattoo there's a scar over Gyuk Sing Yi's tattoo it looks like a deep wound what are you looking at she thought observing his expression trying to gauge whether he believed her amnesia. I'm admiring my husband's amazing figure such, a perfect body should be exposed more it's very pleasing to the heart and the eyes, Li Yuan said her voice laced with irony she had to keep up appearances after all. It's true that Gyuk Seng Yi has a good figure, I don't lie about this she mused silently trying to piece together fragments of her memory. I'm going to change clothes you come with me, Gyuk Seng Yi ordered Li Yuan followed him to the changing room her mind racing. If we're really a couple there must be traces of our shared life inside the closet right she wondered. Opening the closet she was taken aback by their sight of a student uniform my age shouldn't be that of a student, could it be that Gyuk Seng Yi likes this style is this also my dressing style or Gyuk Seng Yi's fetish does, he like this kind of thing. Look over here Gyuk Seng Yi's voice brought her back to reality, he held up an outfit that looked strange and out of place do you remember? Those clothes they held precious memories, that was our first time Gyuk Seng Yi's words echoed in her mind. Dressed like that to have a precious memories with, Gyuk Seng Yi Li Yuan's thoughts were a whirlwind and the first time what, happened at that time? As she stood there surrounded, by the vestiges of a past she couldn't fully recall Li Yuan resolved to uncover, the truth she needed to understand her connection to Gyuk Seng Yi and most importantly she needed to, find the boss and ensure her safety. Girls are so troublesome it's just a shopping trip, why buy so many things I don't just buy things for myself there are also gifts for Uncle Cheng what, a flatterer isn't all this money given by uncle. 
Fine the wait has been, a bit long but look at this it's for you. For me. You want to bribe me HMPH I'm not that easy, to be tricked even if you give me this shirt I won't keep being friends with you. Who wants to be friends with you accepting this gift means, you're my person in the future you have to be my, husband. A girl like you wants to reach so high I absolutely absolutely will not accept, this shirt if you give it to me I won't keep it I'll throw it away, immediately. More than 10 years have passed, this shirt has a very profound meaning. Profound how profound is it because these clothes, have so little fabric that it means a lot to you. It's not like that, those clothes are. This Hugh Junes what is he doing actually we don't live here often I brought you to this villa in the suburbs because it's relatively safe here so I asked Junes to buy some women's clothes but I didn't expect him to buy these it's okay it's okay I guess he wanted to improve our relationship has the wound on your hand not healed yet let me see it isn't it already scabbed it's bad for the wound if being bandaged like this or you can cover it there are many more no need it's healed of course there's another way to make the wound heal faster, this aggressive hormonal scent it's so brightly hot yet clean and refreshing it must be the effect of, this hormonal scent that makes me cannot resist. Who is he is all this true? Brother sister-in-law the doctor is, downstairs in the living room. Got it will be, there right away. Doctor how is my wife? Judging from the film it seems that external injury and trauma, have caused brain damage which leads to amnesia fortunately the damage isn't serious it's estimated that the patient will recover their memories on their own within a year or two. It takes longer than I thought to recover my memories, if it takes one or two years will it be dangerous for me to live here I must quickly determine, Hugh Xing Yi's true purpose and identity. Thank you doctor I'll take you out. Oh Mr. Gu you're too kind. Why do I feel that Gu Xing Yi doesn't seem too happy a bottle without a label? Gu Xing Yi are you back what, did the doctor give you? Nothing he just gave me a bottle of medicine, the doctor said that this medicine nourishes the brain nerves and helps with your restoration of memory, come take a pill. Be good. And take the medicine. There's no label dares to take it what is this medicine for if it's some kind of nutritional supplement why isn't there a label and why didn't he give it in front of me and also and what you finally remember that this is poison what just kidding I'm your dear husband. How could I harm you if Gu Xinye wanted to kill me? He would have done it already. No need to wait this is long unless he wants to make a fool of me. My head hurts. I can't recall any memories from the past. In any case, there's definitely a problem with Gu Xin Yan, but for now, I can only find another opportunity to test him. Are you feeling unwell? I'll take you to rest. Remember to take medicine before going to bed. Reminds me again? Looks like there must be something wrong with that medicine. What? You still don't want to take it, do you? Perhaps want me to feed you myself? I'm not taking it, I don't need your help. Are you crazy? Don't touch there right. You're injured. There. Does it still hurt? Sorry, I just remembered something. 
bad so I couldn't control myself, you should rest, I'll wake you up for dinner, later, touch he could actually hold it back just now, he was even worried about my injury, song ZE hello, ZE is there any problem with the efficacy of this medicine? There's none, boss. Really, Li Yuan is suspicious. Boss, XX made an appointment with us. I told them that Li Yuan is in our hands. Well done. Not only did Li Yuan survive, but the killer sent to finish her was also captured by Gu. Seen yet? Yes. It was my mistake we planted. Spy has sneaked into Gu Seen Yes Villa and once they find the opportunity, they'll kill that lady please. Give me another chance, do it. Neatly, put the blame on Gu. Seen yet, those Su. K Tang trash. Will definitely see. Revenge on Gu Seen yet. At that time, we'll just sit here and reap the benefits. Yes, sir, I've been living in Gu Seen, yes, villa. For more than a week. And my external wounds are scabbed and starting to heal. I've been living in Gu Seen, yes, villa for more than a week and my external wounds are scabbed and starting to heal today Gui Seen yet went to the trade association to deal with business leaving me in this place without allowing me to go out I feel so pressured the gazes are as heavy as mountain I just go to the toilet you don't have to worry I always feel a trace of murderous intent in this awkward atmosphere am I being oversensitive I have to find a way to build a good relationship with them is that a knife you're finally alone sister in law now let me show you my strength hey hey what do you think sister-in-law this is my family's apple peeling skill I can peel three at once do you have any apple left I also want to show my skill come let's all eat before the apples turn brown wow your knife skill is amazing it is relatively successful sister-in-law I added hibiscus into this cup of black tea which is good for your health please try it thank you something is wrong with the tea it's still a bit hot I'll drink it later I don't know if something is wrong with the person who made the tea or if someone else took the advantage of there being so many people to add additional ingredients but it probably isn't who seen yes order after all he doesn't need such a roundabout method even when I cut fruits a plastic knife was given to me so I'm sure that and this person who wants to harm me seems to be very scared of me he doesn't dare to confront me directly then I'll be patient and play this cat and Molly's a game with him Huo Jun Zi vice president of Qinglong Trade Association serves as general manager of Gu Xin Yiril estate group he's loyal and honorable to Gu 
Hussein Yev, a kind and generous soul, with good execution ability, but he lacks strategy however, he's more pleasing to the eye than Gu Sin Yev, Gu Sin Yev, is cunning and cautious, so we might as well start with this Huo Jun Zi. How about using a ability trap or something like that? Who do you think is appropriate to send? I can give everything to you. But Huo Jun Zi isn't my type. Second boss we be questioned. The doctor who regularly visited Gu Sin Bi's villa that we caught, he told us, when Gu Sin Ye introduced the boss, that man said she was his wife. And he also said, the boss had lost her memory I knew it. That wolf Gu Sin Ye has been desiring our boss's body. She must have been completely devoured by him. The doctor said the boss was as docile as a little rabbit, could it be that she was trained by Gu Xin Ye in different ways, a driven person like our boss has to suffer such humiliation, absolutely not, no matter what the price is, I must rescue her from the devil's cave as soon as possible. I've waited until the tea is cold, why didn't that person who added ingredients to the tea take action? Sister-in-law, do you not like the taste of this tea who brought me the tea I brewed? This tea very well, please don't waste it, so I'll take it as a courtesy, what a pity, looks like. We can only enjoy it another time, don't worry. The mosquito is dead, I'm going back to my room first, just now. I thought I saw my great grandmother. It isn't the person who gave me the tea, he actually was going to drink it, the person who poisoned the tea is very calcious and doesn't reveal his trace easily, do I have to wait until next time he acts to be able to catch him, he's about to pull the trigger, we've almost finished talking about official matters, is M. Argu free tonight, you can come to my place for a drink, there are lots of new girls there, recently, no, I have plans, tonight, Chi Lin, trade association, of director Liao, must also be, very busy, right, Mr. Gu, are you hiding, a beautiful wife at, home, and wishing yourself could be the groom every night hello it's me what sorry mr leo i have something urgent and need to leave now no problem you're busy dot few 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 who seen yet the feast prepared for you has just been served with only appetizers when you get home, you'll find that the canary in the cage has been cruelly poisoned. Where's Li Yuan? Upstairs what are you doing eating snacks? Sit down. I'll tell you, be on alert. Li Yuan was shot. Recently, there's a traitor among our brothers that happened. You weren't there, brother Jun, if you were there, who would dare, speaking of 
which, why did the boss want to keep that which the boss said when she was staying at his Lincoln's house. She stole the seal of S City's trade associations. President, the square seal is in her hands. What's going on over there? Is someone teasing a female student? Don't talk me. Help me. Come here, little girl. My place and play. Go away. Let her go, you pig. Wait there. We'll bring more people to beat you up. Don't run. If you have the guts, this is the territory of the Qing Long Trade Association. You're not allowed to be arrogant. Here, are you? Okay. Thank you. Can you can you take me home? At that time, the black muscle of the gun was only a few centimeters away from me, but I wasn't scared at all. He was afraid of me and didn't pull the trigger right away, so I had a 0.5 second opportunity at that time. Not only was I not afraid, but rather I felt some excitement instincts from the bottom of my heart like a bloodthirsty animal. Don't run it's a smoke bomb. Unfortunately I couldn't catch him at that time why are you looking at me with such an expression? So you just let him run away without seeing his face at all? Of course that's such a shame. It seems that there are shady things hidden in this place so some rats come and cause trouble. But even so, it's okay. Just take a good rest, leave the rest to me, you're leaving now? Why hey, I was almost shot can't you console me a little? Console I don't think you need that kind of thing, as you said, the fiery instinct of the wild animal inside of you, the longing to be soothed this is what Li Yuan needs don't be nonsensical, I don't need that, a familiar scene all over again, it seems you like this trick very much let me go what if I don't let you go? Then I'll kick your 20 exclamation mark oops what am I saying? I told you that you don't need any comfort, Li Lan, are you asleep? Li Yuan, your current state, are you acting like this to deceive me, or is it true? How wonderful it would be if you stay like this all your life, sure enough, you're asleep. Good night, babe just now did Gook sing you want to kill F1 quarter F micro. No, it's not right, it seems that he has some kind of paranoid hatred towards me. Uneasy gulp my benefactor, thank you for repelling those bad guys just now, and thank you for taking me home, don't mention it you were injured, right? Is it serious? Speaking of injury, compared to the external injury, it's more damaging to my mind, I still feel scared thinking about it now. Alright, alright, it's okay sorry, I accidentally deleted you just now, well how should I call you? My name is Hua Junes, this guy is good at pretending, let me see how long you can pretend. My name is Song Ru since I live alone, I'm always harassed by gangsters nearby. Once they even, anyone who bullies women is a 20 Mr. Who oh, don't be angry fortunately, the police arrived, so I was fine, rest assured you won't encounter such kind of people again in the future, the tea has gone cold I'll make you another cup no need to bother, how could I, you'll the hero who saved me be careful are you okay? I think my ankle is sprained it hurts, it seems I can't walk anymore I'll take you to your bedroom. F1 half F micro took the bait turns out, men are all despicable yes, thank you, good now, there's only one step left boss I sacrifice my body all for you, rest well I'll be leaving if you need anything in the future, please call me, this is my business card he's gone, what the hell is this, one day after, today the boss isn't here but there's something to be clarified, someone among us wants to kill Miss Li Yuan. And we are going to find this person in this mansion today. Now whoever is called will follow me into the study. Half an hour later F three quarters KF degrees NF. You can leave Miss Li Lan. Once things involve you, the boss will be very concerned. To the point where he can't be objective and calm and all men treat his partner like that. Or, Junes, have you never met a woman who makes you act that way? 
By the way, Junes, I've always been curious about Yu Xing Yi's attitude towards me. Did something unpleasant occur between us? It's okay, it's fine if you don't tell me. Pretend I didn't ask you and the boss were once so in love with each other, but something happened. You hurt him very much. What happened? You betrayed the boss. The cold damp air of the secret dungeon clung to Junes's skin as he stared at the frail figure before him. You're now a serious problem for your employer. He said his voice echoing in the dim light. If I hadn't hidden you here you would have been killed by him. A long time ago his eyes softened momentarily. I give you a day to think this over turning to his companion. He added let's go. Roger nodded his expression grim so they hid you in this secret dungeon making me search for you, for so long he muttered almost to himself don't blame me I'm just helping my boss he chuckled darkly a sound devoid of humor, unfortunately the killer has been moved to a safe place. As they walked away the captive's mind raced, no wonder when you saw Elan in the hospital your first reaction was to kill her, the prisoner thought it turns out to be you the prisoner's thoughts grew more desperate. Tell me who's behind this and I'll spare your life. Roger paused glancing back so the person behind all this is boss, Liao of the Chi Lin Trade Association he revealed with a smirk, Chi Lin Trade Association and Zuke Trade Association are evenly matched he lonely, waste his money and worsen his illness by offending the Zuke Trade Association. The captive's eyes widened in realization. Could it be the president of the General Chamber of Commerce the prisoner, whispered a sense of dread filling the air. Meanwhile somewhere else in the sprawling city boss, Liao pondered his fate boss that guy betrayed you is it okay to just let him go like that, a subordinate asked hesitantly. I won't forgive anyone who betrays me boss Liao replied coldly, the same goes for boss Liao. The subordinate nodded understanding betrayal is the most taboo thing in our job even if he takes the money there's no certainty that he still has his life to spend it. Elsewhere a figure known as Mr. Huo received a request, Mr. Huo are you free can you accompany me somewhere? Mr. Huo muttered to himself when will I have the opportunity to get close to Gui Xing Yi, he's still always a bit on guard around me the thought of his betrayal gnawed at him like a time bomb ticking away his peace of mind, if he's in a bad mood I may lose my life it's not okay. Li Lan feeling the weight of her own predicament mused, the best way to close the distance between a man and a woman is to turn it into a negative number yes, she shook her head trying to clear her thoughts, take the initiative and flip the situation. But suddenly her head throbbed with pain, my head it suddenly hurts she cried out clutching her temples. Gui Xing Yi's voice cut through her agony cold and unyielding, Li Lan you're not so stupid as to rely on sexual temptation to erase your past betrayal right? I I don't remember anything Li Lan stammered, fear evident in her eyes. Gui Xing Yi's expression darkened you're now just a bird locked up in my cage I want to torture you or kill you can you resist I? only want to see your pathetic appearance struggling to fight back in despair. A commotion outside interrupted their tense, exchange miss you can't go in a guard insisted. You dare to stop me, a woman's voice retorted. The boss really isn't here, please go back. Get out of my way she demanded, pushing past the guard. Gui Xing Yi watched the scene unfold from a distance, this is why they blocked me from entering he mused. A reality is hidden inside the mansion who is he why does she have the attitude of an official wife, coming to catch the third person. He didn't have to wonder for long a young girl with an air of authority, approached her hello big sister would you like some potato chips she asked sweetly. Li Lan looked confused I'm sorry Gui Xing Yi isn't home she began. You actually called me big sister, the young girl interrupted her tone dripping with mockery. You stinky woman do you know how old you are how could you call me big sister I'm 1 year 4 months 21 days 17 hours and 40 minutes younger than you why do you have the nerve to call me, like that she was fuming her anger palpable why are you so violent? Why am I so violent the girl's eyes narrowed, okay then I'll tell you today don't think that I don't know what you're planning. Li Lan was taken aback, what you, misunderstood it's Gui Xing Yi. 
The girl cut her off with a derisive laugh, still pretending listen closely my name is Ding Lu Ying and I'm Gui Xing Yi's real girlfriend, you shameless mistress get the hell out of here don't think that you can win Gui Xing Yi's heart just by pretending to be weak you hypocritical rude woman. The tension in the room was thick each word dripping, with venom as the two women faced off the shadow of Gui Xing Yi looming large, over their confrontation. You think of me as a canary, and enjoy the power of controlling everything about me so satisfying, isn't it? It's not like that I don't, I just want to protect you, Li Yuan you have to trust me I have no ill intentions towards you, you keep me locked up in your place, giving me medicine of unknown origin every day sending a group of men with real ammunition to watch over me what would you think if you were me? Then what do you want? Let me go although you've temporarily helped me eliminate the biggest threat, I don't know if anyone else will still want to harm you, it isn't peaceful outside now but as long as I stay here, I have to take that medicine of unknown origin, and the fact I once slashed Gyu Xing Yi is no different than a ticking time bomb between us, if I just listen to his trust me and stay here, it will be very dangerous when the day I'm no longer useful comes, I have to find someone else who can verify my identity, it might be dangerous going out, but if I keep being locked up in this cage, controlled and used by Gui Xing Yi, it will not help with the restoration of my memory, agree to that otherwise, I'll die in front of you I will do what I say don't, don't do that don't be impulsive put the gun down, ok, I promise you compromises, but you also have to promise me something, sure enough, the wolf's tail can no longer be hidden, his true purpose is about to be revealed, promise me to protect yourself well when you go outside, I'll be at home waiting for you to end tilde f3 quarters f1 quarter f micro f squared f degrees end tilde f superscripto, sorry, Guxingyi I'm going to break my promise, I will never return to this large gorgeous cage I've been dreaming of a house with a yard inside recently, I have a hunch that I just need to go there, I will definitely be able to remember something, in my dreams, that house was located in the south of the city, I drove here from the garage of the villa, and the car has privacy screen, I also took Yu Xing Yi's gun, this should be no problem promise me to protect yourself well when you go outside, is what he said sincere the people guarding the outside of the villa, couldn't possibly know that I drove the car away, Gui Xing Yi wouldn't play this trick, unless in that villa there's still the traitor Lan Lan. The tension in the air was palpable as Li Yuan sat in the dimly lit room, her eyes locked with Gu Xing Yi's, he thought of her as a bird, enjoying the power of controlling everything about her, so satisfying, isn't it? It wasn't like that for he, she clenched her fists, frustration boiling within. I, don't I just want to protect you, Li Yuan you have to trust me I have no ill intentions towards you, Gu Xing Yi's voice was firm yet pleading. You keep me locked up in your place, giving me medicine of unknown origin every day, sending a group of men with real ammunition to watch over me, what would you think if you were me? Li Yuan's voice trembled with a mix of anger and desperation Gu Xing Yi's gaze softened, a hint of sorrow in his eyes, then what do you want? Let me go although you've temporarily helped me eliminate the biggest threat, I don't know if anyone else will still want to harm you it isn't peaceful outside now. Li Yuan replied, her voice steady but her heart tracing. But as long as I stay here, I have to take that medicine of unknown origin, and the fact I once slashed Gu Xing Yi is no different than a ticking time bomb between us, if I just listen to his trust me and stay here, it will be very dangerous when the day I'm no longer useful comes, I have to find someone else who can verify my identity it might be dangerous going out, but if I keep being locked up in this cage, controlled and used by Gu Xing Yi, it will not help with the restoration of my memory. Her words hung heavy in the air, Gu Xing Yi took a deep breath, his resolve wavering, agree to that otherwise, I'll, I'll die in front of you I will do what I say. Don't, don't do that don't be impulsive put the gun down Gu Xing Yi's voice was laced with panic, okay. I promise you no compromises, Li Yuan pressed, her eyes narrowing you also have to promise me something, Gu Xing Yi said, his voice now calm but firm what is it, Li Yuan asked, 
slight suspicion creeping into her tone. I hope, promise me to protect yourself well when you go outside, I'll be at home waiting for you to come back. Li Yuan's heart ached at his words, but she knew she had to leave, sorry, Guxing Yi I'm going to break my promise I will never return to this large, gorgeous cage. Determined, Li Yuan slipped away she'd been dreaming of a house with the yard recently, a place that felt familiar she had a hunch that she just needed to go there, and she would definitely be able to remember something in her dreams, the house was located in the south of the city. She drove from the garage of the villa, the privacy screen of the car shielding her. She also took Yu Xing Yi's gun, just in case there should be no problem promise me to protect yourself well when you go outside I'll be at home waiting for you to come back his words echoed in her mind was he sincere. The people guarding the outside of the villa couldn't possibly know that she drove the car away Yu Xing Yi wouldn't play this trick, unless in that villa there was still the traitor. As she sped towards the south of the city, Li Yuan's heart pounded with both fear and hope, she was determined to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. Boss is it okay nth three quarters let Li Yuan go like that? She has many enemies, what if she encounters danger, I've already said it, that the square stamp is in her hands, she must live in order for the square stamp to see the light of the day again, square stamp is the seal passed through generations of presidents of the general chamber of commerce, representing the leadership position the president has over all the leaders of the trade associations, there are rumors that there's a secret treasure hidden in the square stamp, after the former president passed away, the square stamp went missing without reasons, the current president doesn't have the square stamp, so it's inevitable that his words won't have enough power, then sister Yuan may not be hunted down by her enemies, we can be assured even if she's captured, I definitely still can rescue her, unless that manned man, long time no see Yuan why are you so pathetic, not unlike a witch. I've placed a few more bullets in those corpses, through the heads this time, I guarantee you that not a single one is alive to babble shooting and killing so many people with such an unburdened smile, he's even more perverted than a pervert, how could I know a person like this? Anyway, let's pretend to be familiar for now long time no see, you are new on, you're acting weird could it be that the car accident just now calized you to lose your memory? If Yuan Lan actually forgets me, I'll be very sad a Yuan Yuan who doesn't remember who I am, it seems you have no value in existence, you misunderstood, I didn't lose my memory, I just have a slow response goodbye never see you again it's too dangerous, I must have completely angered this pervert, need to run away from him as fast as possible ha ha, this is the Yuan Yuan I know it's a pity that you always forget to add one more hit, but we haven't had such a fun time in a while why don't we come over to my place today so that we can catch up on old times? The scenery here is so beautiful I only discovered this place by accident, the view here is very broad, when I was young, my father bro like me here my father is a veteran mother is dad. Hey when will you pay your debt? Today is the deadline, please give me a few more days, and I'll pay you back as soon as I earn some more you gambling addicted dog, Song Ru are you okay? Yes why did you cry suddenly? It's nothing it's just that I was moved by the scenery and remembered some things from the past, it's all my fault it's okay, after all having you is enough, it's him. I am not dead, are they rubber bullets? You're indeed my ruthless Yuan Yuan, but Yuan Yuan, wasn't your attack too harsh? It was very painful, it didn't matter, a twisted monster like you cannot die, this guy knows me, perhaps he can give me more useful information, I can only go with him Yuan Yuan, letting an injured man drive, you're so cruel, stop talking nonsense, didn't I help you treat your wound? Thanks to Ding Lu Ying, I kind of understand what kind of person I was before I lost my memory, just act as myself as long as this pervert doesn't discover that I've lost my memory, I should be safe. That is Hua Jun's? Why is he here? Is that his girlfriend? There's really a young couple acting lovey-dovey this place is secluded, very convenient to do something, convenient to do what? 
Looks like there's only trashy 18 plus things in this lunatic's mind. Convenient to dispose of a body after killing it is this guy's brain normal. Your acquaintance? Do you want to stop? No, just drive I didn't expect Hello Junes is here. He's Gook Sing Yee's man. It's still better for me to avoid as expected of you are new on. Your bandaging skill is as good as mine. Ha ha. Practice makes perfect there's even a medical office fully equipped here, as well as a pharmacy and a pharmaceutical laboratory. Is this lunatic a doctor? Lan Yuan, do you want to take F degrees F squared F degrees and th one half? Why does he talk so casually? Are the both of us, relatively close friends? Taking a shower at your place doesn't seem to be very convenient are you embarrassed? Oh god. You didn't think that I'll peek at you while you're taking a shower, did you, Yuan Yuan? I didn't think that, what are you so excited about? Judging from his reaction, we're just ordinary friends and have no ambiguous relationship but, a man and a woman alone, in a vast house, inaccessible. It seems doing it isn't a bad idea at all, it's best to cut while splashing water the bath water can wash away the blood rub clean all the traces of a crime very convenient, so doing it means committing crime? This madman has only one desire in his mind which is to murder, doesn't he? Ah, write something about work you are new on, follow me do I and this lunatic have work to discuss? This time, the formula of the medicine is a bit complicated, the materials are difficult to obtain, and it'll take an extra week to make the placebo, delivery can't be made on time, so I'll give you a 10% discount, it turns out this madman and I are partners in making placebo, help me test the ingredients of this medicine bottle, this bottle of medicine is the one Gyuk Sing Yi forced me to take when I was in his villa. Alf Pil guy secretly spitted it out, his inspection was too strict so I still had most of it, Yuan Yuan's medicine must be very profitable. Go to the study upstairs and wait for me, give me half an hour no, 15 minutes are enough Sheng Chong? Yuan Yuan, the test is done how is it? It's a mixture of two medicines one is a kind that promotes brain metabolism, and the other nourishes brain nerves, in short it's a specialized drug for treating amnesia, drug for amnesia treatment? Gyuxing Yi didn't harm me? This kind of medicine is suitable for a small group of people, there's no profit in making a placebo of it, who is taking this medicine? It can't be you, right? Of course not, this belongs to a friend of mine if this lunatic knows that I'm having amnesia, I might die I must not expose my flaws in front of him you are new on, this piece of calligraphy was given to f1 quarter f micro f squared nfnfth 3 quarters u, it has both of our names on it, which is very memorable, there's my signature on it, the handwriting looks familiar, it should be mine, yes yeah, I wrote it so. Yuan Yuan, what is my name? I can't remember. Now, Yuan Yuan, tell me, what's my name? I'm counting to three, put the knife away, one he doubts me, if I fail to overcome this test, will I be killed? Don't be so nervous, I just want you to call my name, it's disgusting I got goosebumps all over my body sure enough. This guy and I can't get along, I believe my instincts I'm sure that when I didn't have amnesia, I still wouldn't call his name Yuan Yuan. Don't be so heartless go away I'm going to bed I feel like if I can't say his name, I'll have to prepare for if he assassinates me in my sleep, Sheng Chong, could it be that his name is these two characters? The moment I saw my familiar handwriting, I seem to remember something, his name is definitely not Sheng Chong it's the good knight Qian Li his surname is Sheng, and given name is Qian Li Lan Yuan? You call my name the character Chong, broken into two words Qian and Li, when I wrote it at the time, I probably deliberately liced this kind of word play, I really miss the comfortable bed at Yuk Sing Yi's house and also his caring, considerate service of putting me to sleep what's that noise? It seems to be coming from the basement? I can't sleep anyway, so I might as well go take a look it looks like this door isn't locked. Mummy? The shocking scene in front of me is like a hammer hitting right into my brain my head starts to hurt, 
And then comes, the painful memories that I've forgotten. When I was eight, my father and a woman left that place, the place which was called home my mother raised me while working, and she always said that my father was just in a period of confusion he loved us and would come back to us sooner or later then, she fell ill due to overwork, her fever was so high and wouldn't go away, there wasn't even rice left at home without money. I had to go out and look for a way to find medicine for my mother after coming to several pharmacies. L knelt down and begged until finally, a kind person bought the medicine for me. When I got home, my mother was sleeping, maybe too fast asleep, couldn't wake her up. My mother's mouth was biting tightly. It took me a lot of effort to force the medicine in through the gaps between her teeth. My mother's fever went down after she drank the medicine it was very effective and my mother's body was very cold, she should wake up soon, come one over here what are you doing? Get out don't touch eth one quarter nf eth one quarter eth three quarters eth one quarter take the kid out, mom's taken the medicine she's fine she ll wake up soon get out, get out maybe it was because she hadn't taken a shower in a long time. My mother's smell attracted a group of people who wanted to take her away, but I resisted them with all my strength. My father hadn't come back yet, my mother hadn't done waiting for him, so we couldn't leave. I was sent to an orphanage after that then, a kind person came to adopt me child, I'll help you bury your mother, from now on, just follow me this is my nephew starting today, let's live together. Don't sleep you can't sleep now, open your eaves aren't I the one you hate the most after all, don't care about me, just hurry up and run we shall walk together, and if we die, we'll die together I like you most in this world, if we both can escape this time, you must be my wife no peeking I haven't closed the lid yet, but it's for me anyway, isn't it? It's not for you now it's the future, 10 years no. 15 years later can you see it do you think can this time capsule really be preserved for that long? F 1 quarter F degrees N tilde F F squared F micro did you put something important in it? I won't tell you, then here's the deal, 15 years later, we'll come back here and dig the capsule out, Li Yuan how will we become in 15 years? Will we still be as close, always together as we are now? That's right. Pinky promise, I'll protect you and support you I, Li Yuan, will never betray you Gyu Xing Yi, you're the most important person in my life I already told you, don't block my way, anyone who stands in my way must die Gyu Xing Yi not even you can stop he is Gyu Xing Yi it's Gyu Xing Yi, the person you promised to protect forever Xing Yi Lan Yuan, calling another man's name while sleeping in my bed. That's really cruel, why are you here you fainted at the door of the secret room last night, so I was the one who carried you back to my bed, were you surprised to see my collection if other people saw it, they would have become part of my collection already, do you know if there's any island here that is full of pink cherry blossoms, pink cherry blossoms, I don't know, but I can take you to the dock and ask, no, I can get them myself, I owe you what happened last night. And I'll repay you when I'm destined to I have to go now. What? Lan Lan, you leave me alone? It's been so long we haven't met. Can't you stay with me a few more days? I can't. The mansion with the yard that I dreamed about last time was Sheng Kian Li's house. Next, Colin I must go to the island in my dream. Hello, is there an island full of pink cherry blossoms near here? You must be talking Abelit Hongbo Island? There's a capsule I buried under the tree on that island, it may help me to recover my memory I see 1000 yuan, take me there, let's come on board, I'll pay 3 times the price, this is for convenience, this person's figure could it be? Hey, are you taking the wrong rollite? This isn't the way to Hongbo Island, as for you, beauty, someone wants to see you, there's no danger, please cooperate, be good and don't move. We're just sending you the sending me with only you guys? Or should I send you away are you out of bullets? There are still some left throw away your weapon and tell your men to stop immediately. I give you one minute, either jump into the ocean and escape, or die. The one who should go off is you guys, Gyu, Gyu Xing Yi? He's actually here exclamation mark I brought enough bullets to kill everyone on this ship today, if you don't want to die. 
get off quick sing ye alf milk we've only separated for one day i'm so looking forward to seeing his face gook sing ye today's debt i'll settle it with you sooner or later you just let them go like that then should i kill them all including you you're very famous now everyone is tracking your trace they probably didn't expect that such prey would be delivered to their doors right i was going to a place and heard that this dock was the only one that went there. I never expected to end up on a criminal's ship. GL Xing Yi, don't you care about the fact that I cut you and took away your things? Why did you take me home and treat me? Wouldn't it be faster to threaten me than try to convince me with feelings? If you're the one who betrays and hurts someone else, how do you want the other part to retaliate against you? I'm willing to take what I deserve, let's go back to the cabin, I'm taking you somewhere, do you know where I'm going? An island full of blooming pink flowers, where your memories are, and, the time capsule ship was attacked both got sabreted and I still alive. This looks like an island where's Gyuk Sing Yi? Is he dead? Gyuk Sing Yi must have drowned trying to save me, he obviously has been taking care of me and really wants to restore my memory, but I've always doubted him she need to search for him and food, to be continued, if I see any more chapters. In the dimly lit room, tension hung thick in the air, a group of men exchanged nervous glances, their leader had just received a troubling message. You guys always say that hyena girl is scary, but today, Li Yuan has been dealt with by our own hands. She's just an ignorant woman. How can she compare to the boss? One of the men boasted shut your mouth I have to call the boss first. Another man snapped but his expression shifted to confusion and then panic why can't I call? What's up? Why can't my body move anymore? A sinister smile crept across one man's face. Don't worry, we gave them some medicine now. Tell me, where is Li Yuan going? The once boastful man was now trembling you trash are you worthy of killing Li Yuan? Meanwhile, Li Yuan found herself in an old, abandoned house the place felt strangely familiar, every corner, each item, bought races of her presence she wandered through the rooms, feeling a deep connection to the space then she noticed a TV and a bunch of cassette tapes with her name on them curiosity peaked, she played one, on the screen, a young girl in a dress appeared is this me as a child? Li Yuan whispered the girl spoke, let me give you a quick hug, if not, I'll take off your dress Li Yuan smiled at the memory 80 minutes, no way, na 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 Li Yuan is really naughty a voice interrupted her reverie you are unfair it's obvious that you like Li Yuan more don't talk nonsense, that's your uncle, another voice retorted don't forget, Li Yuan, the box soups, sorry, under the tree in the backyard, it has a secret that belongs to us, the young girl said our secret, Li Yuan echoed, her heart racing as she hurried outside, she dug beneath the tree and found a time box opening it, she discovered a square stamp, this is the square stamp, a stamp passed down through generations of presidents of the general chamber of commerce it represents the chairman's dominant position over all those in charge there are rumors that a secret treasure is hidden in the square stamp after the previous chairman passed away the square stamp went missing for unknown reasons the current chairman does not hold the square stamp in his hand so it is inevitable that his words do not carry enough weight Li Yuan stared at the stamp this is my box who left it here she murmured just then a familiar voice called out Yuan Yuan indeed you are not dead I was so worried about you thought you were bait for fish in the sea Li Yuan turned to see Gyu Xing Yi standing before he relief washed over her Xing Yi are you really dead he shook his head smiling gently Yuan this is a letter written to you in the future I will grow taller, even taller than you, I also want to marry you if you agree, I will always follow you if you have a husband, I will rob you and hide you somewhere else that way, you will only be able to stay by my side I have another secret to tell you, which is that I feel like my uncle likes you a little more, he always reminds me of your bravery and intelligence even though this makes me jealous a bit, I still choose to like you hopefully, one day in the future, we will still be together I miss you so much. Li Yuan held the letter close to her heart, tears welled up in her eyes as she looked at Xing Yi let's see what's in my time capsule, she said, 
voice trembling with emotion. Inside the box, alongside the square stamp, were other childhood mementos each item a reminder of the bond they shared and the promise of a future they had yet to discover. Is there still someone here? Ha you are new on, seeing you in such a spirit, I'm relieved I don't have to come to collect your corpse HMPH, you look really disheveled better than you, running away before the battle even started I was distracting the assassins are they all dead? Let's use their boat to leave the island quickly I want to go back and find out who keeps trying to kill me it's not safe outside, do you want to come back to my place? Okay don't be ridiculous, what gives you the right to invite her? Husband Lan Lan, do you want to marry me? You won't agree to marry him, right? He must have some ulterior motive Gyuk Sing Yi, I. Don't rush to refuse you can think it over, marrying me would bring you many benefits boss, your back your leg? Just a minor injury I'm going to get wound treatment, you think it over and come find me how about coming to my place? No. I still have something to do maybe, F1 quarter NF memory loss is related to the square stamp, leaving it with me isn't safe, I need to find somewhere else to hide it, the most dangerous place is the safest, hiding it with Gyuk Sing Yi might be safer Gyuk Sing Yi is back, someone's coming in come out I I just wanted to borrow the bathroom, get out yes yes Li Yuan, what exactly are you trying to do, tell the truth. Last night I stayed up to take care of you, you're fine now, and all spirited did you do it yourself? I didn't beg you to don't think I don't know you want to be alone with you and you and be careful what you say, I'm not just your lifesaver, soon you'll be on my boat to get out of here Kian Li something's burning over there is that your boat? They're a large group, we don't have weapons, and can't confront them head on, there's a tunnel under the house, let's go back the first isn't this a bunker? It's so small, if we were stopped, wouldn't all three of us die? Lan Lan, let that broken leg guy hide here, without him in the way, the two of us can definitely kill them all if you don't want to live anymore, do it yourself, don't involve Yuan Yuan follow me everyone, slow down Yuan Yuan did you press the switch? Yeah, Sheng Qian Li looks too annoyed, seems like he doesn't know you've lost your SHH. I don't want others to know, anyway, it's a weakness I won't tell anyone else. Don't run they the light up be careful the wall collapsed, revealing a hidden door, there must still be people inside. It's Gyuk Sing Yi what a coincidence exactly, too much of a coincidence what's going on are you okay, Gyuk Sing Yi? Thank goodness you ran fast and triggered the mechanism there aren't many of them. Some are probably chasing after Kian Li your wound is bleeding. We don't have time, let's go ahead but your leg have people, you are new on, what are you doing? I can't let Sheng Kian Li find out that I have the square stamp in my hand, phew ha ha, you're reminiscing about the past while looking at the time f squared f three quarters n tilde? The Li Yuan I know isn't weak like this, you have been acting a bit differently lately, why are you here? Are you spying on me? I'm worried about you your body will be preserved intact by me in case something line expected happens and you get injured, you won't look beautiful anymore like that guy Gyuk Sing Yi, who was eaten by fish and looked disgusting let's just lies the hole you dug to bury him, have you met Gyuk Sing Yi? Where is F1 half F micro? F1 half F micro he's dead his corpse is over the looks Lin Zeitli, let's bury him quickly Gyuk Sing Yi who's that is it you? Li Yuan? Did you save me? That's good you're worried about me, don't you want me to die anymore? Be careful of your wound take your rotten hand off me, or I'll chop it off and lies it as bait for the fish what? You can try if you have the guts. Come here Lan Yuan, step aside that's enough shut your mouth stop messing around, Kian Li Yuan Lan. Are you angry with me because of him is he more important to you than me? No did you hear that? In Yuan Yuan's heart, I'm more important comma me didn't say that either you probably know that I'd of a year ago, Yuan Yuan was with me, and I was the most important person to her cooperation in business, anyone can be a business partner can change at any time, two of you have only known each other for a year and we long time acquaintances also have a broken relationship but she still wants to save me and the one who saved you and used a jacket to bandage the wound on your leg what's wrong? 
feeling queasy now, right up if you have the guts, take it out and see how come these two suddenly become so childish when they meet each other but, Greek sing ye, like this, is just like when he was young so she asked you to save me, do you think everything's done just when I saved you, huh? You're feeling feverish, aren't you? Your wound is inflamed, there's no medicine here, if you can't reduce the fever tonight, even if you don't die, you'll be delirious by then, Yuan Yuan and I will bury you together perhaps Li Yuan and Gyu Xing Yi should have someone to assist them, but they won't run far search in this area of the sea. Yuan who had made a lot of mistakes in the past, they didn't quite understand why they did those things, but they knew they had to come to terms with it someday, their past relationship had ended, leaving them with a lot to think about, but now, they found themselves in a new situation, feeling more confident in themselves. They had someone special in their life now, someone they were willing to marry, however, there was a condition, she wanted to have a big, grand wedding ceremony but there was a twist whenever they saw a particular person, it brought back memories and triggered them. Despite this, they were determined to make their partner's dream of a perfect ceremony come true, but there were doubts lingering in the air, they couldn't shake off the feeling that something was off about the past, especially concerning their uncle's mysterious death. Yet, amidst the uncertainty, they were focused on organizing the engagement party for their boss and their boss's amnesiac girlfriend they were willing to go the extra mile to make it perfect but little did they know, there was someone with ulterior motives lurking in the shadows, waiting to exploit the situation. As tensions rose and suspicions grew, they found themselves confronted by someone unexpected this person had a warning they must not marry Gooks and I memories of a past fight flooded back, reminding them of unresolved conflicts. Despite their boss's amnesia, they remained vigilant and when confronted with this warning, they knew they had to dig deeper to uncover the truth but little did they realize, this was just the beginning of a much bigger mystery unfolding before their eyes. Up here here, what does it? mean, don't you really understand, whatever white sky said, I agreed, will you marry me? Yes although judging by the memory of my recovery, I'm worthy of being trusted, however, in the heart of bustling city streets, where the neon lights flickered like distant stars, a scene unfolded outside a nondescript building, inside, the air was charged with tension as a confrontation brewed between two figures, a boss, and a woman with a storm raging behind her eyes. Our people are waiting outside, boss, get out, she urged, her voice a low growl of impatience, do you want to believe her words, or hand her over to Gyuk Sinai? The boss emerged, his demeanor composed, but his attire disheveled what happened, I'm fine, it's just that my clothes are not fastened, she explained, gesturing to her attire without hesitation. The woman stepped forward, come out and I'll tie it for you, man said she offered, her tone betraying a hint of exasperation what are you waiting for, help me tie it as she tended to his attire, the boss glanced at his reflection, contemplating his wardrobe, what else should I wear, this dress is revealing and very ordinary, he mused, his voice tinged with dissatisfaction no need to try again, just take it off a flash of anger across the woman's features do you want me to help you take it off? She retorted sharply, her words laced with contempt, this perverted, trashy, stinking man who thinks in his lower body how dare he tarnish my boss, the boss sighed, attempting to defuse the tension, no, I can't bear it anymore I want to go out and kill him the woman exclaimed, her fists clenched in fury. Suddenly, a sound pierced through the air breaking the heated exchange what other sound can there be, of course it is the sound of you kissing me, the boss remarked with a smirk, his gaze locking with hers, annoyance flickered in the woman's eyes as she surveyed her rumpled dress look, you have wrinkled my dress, what should I do, she demanded, a hint of frustration coloring her voice, buy it and wear it only for me to see at home, the boss suggested with a playful grin, his tone teasing, before the woman could respond, a voice interrupted from outside boss, Miss Ding is here and wants to see you, a subordinate announced. 
The boss hesitated momentarily before giving his order, don't want to see, sent away let's meet. I really want to know what she is here for, she declared, her curiosity piqued. As they made their way towards the meeting, the woman couldn't shake off her concern pushing Yuxina away gave Asnia a chance to slip away, she muttered, her mind preoccupied with thoughts of their elusive foe. Come on, help me fasten the belt, the boss requested, bringing her attention back to the present. I really don't want to tie your belt, the woman protested half-heartedly, her resolve weakening in the face of his charm. Did you really get the message? Why hasn't brother come? The boss inquired, his brow furrowed in concern. Finally, they reached their destination, where a familiar face awaited them. You finally came out. I heard that you are going to marry Li Yuan, Miss Ding exclaimed. Her tone incredulous the woman's eyes narrowed in suspicion, have you forgotten that she killed your uncle? How can you marry an enemy? She challenged, her voice tinged with accusation. As the boss prepared to address the unexpected visitor, the air crackled with tension, hinting at the twists and turns yet to unfold in this intricate tale of alliances and betrayals.